everyone, Tiffany Manger here. And a while ago, I showed you how to make showed you how to make this adorable little matchbox here that you could put a gift card in. Just real simple and cute. Well, we're going to step this up and we're going to make a different one. As you can see, it's bigger. It's a little bit th thinner here. But this one's really cool because it pops up. It has a nice little pop-up here. This guy I made like probably about two years ago, so he's been sitting down like this, and he's a little worn out. So, but as you see, it pops up, and it's got room in the back to put a gift card or some treats in there. But almost the same way as this. The instructions are a little bit different, but we'll get through it. Okay. First off, for your pieces, you're going to need for your outside a piece of cardstock. This is Whisper White. And this is five and seven eighths by eight and three fourths. Okay. Then for your inside, your box part itself, this is garden green. This is eight by eight. To decorate the outside, your first layer will be another piece of cardstock. This is Blushing Bride. And this is three and a half by five and three quarters. And then for your inside, your little pop up pieces, you're going to need pieces that are one inch wide and they are three and a quarter inches long and you score them at one half the easiest way to do it is to have like a longer piece that's three and a quarter inches wide score it at one half and then cut it at one inch and then score your next one at one half and then cut it again at one inch you can do either two or three strips or pop-up parts we're just going to do two and then as for your DSP for your for, for your layer outside to decorate, this is three and a quarter by five and a half, and then for the one that's going to sit on the inside, this is three and a quarter by five and eleven sixteenths. So we're going to sit all these pieces here over outside. We're going to take our whisper white piece for our outside, and we're going to score it. Score it long ways. This is going to be at one half. And my scoreboard wants to jump today. I'm going to turn this to the side because I, um, sorry, I bumped my thing. I have some better control when I score it sideways. I don't know why. All right, one half, four and one eighth. So that's up here. Then four and five eighths. That's right here. And then one more at eight and a quarter. All right. So there we go. I'll repeat them again. One half, four and one eighth, four and five eighths, and then eight and a quarter. All right. I'm done with the scoreboard. And I'm just going to burnish my sides here. I'm not going to assemble it yet because like with the last one I waited till the box was done so then that way we had some more stability to make sure it fit properly. All right so we'll put him aside. All right we're then going to take our envelope punch board and our 8 by 8 piece Ed, excuse me, I'm yawning. We are going to measure at two and three quarters. That's up here. I'm going to punch and score. So then I'm going to turn it 90 degrees. We're going to line it up with the line here. Punch and score. Flip it again and just proceed to do the same thing. Line it up with the line, punch, and score. One more time this way, line it up with the line, punch, and score. All right, we're gonna turn it 90 degrees, and we're going to move the measurements to three and a half. There's my three and a half. We're then going to punch and score. And we're going to do the same thing that we did just before. Line it up with your line, the new line, punch it, and score it. OK, 
Okay, line it up with the new line. Punch. Score. And you're going to keep doing that. Punch and score. And I do believe I did that. Yes, I did. All right. So now we have all four of our scores. Let me put the punch board away and get rid of my little debris here. Oh, actually, let me bring this back. I always forget this part. Remember how we made a little pool tab here with our last one? We're going to do that again. So we're just going to fold our first fold over on one of the short ends here. We're going to fold it up into here like so. And we're going to line this up at one and three fourths. Your, mid, your first score right there. We're going to line that up. There we go. It's going through two layers, so it's a little tough. Now we're done with that. All right. We're going to burnish all of our folds here. See, I'm going to use my opposite end for this. Fold these all together like so. Alright. Now we're going to do the same thing. Well, first off, let's cut our little tabs here. You're going to cut down the first score line. Just these little squares to cut down because they're just going to help assemble our box. All right, there we go. And now, to assemble this, we're going to fold our first score down and then we're going to fold the next score here. This is going to be a little tougher to do this time because we're using cardstock and not DSP and you want to burnish that fold with your bone folder really good all right we're gonna do that again on all four sides fold one over and then fold the next one over let's smooth that out again first fold fold it all together One more time. All right. So now we're going to assemble. Okay. You can use glue dots for these little corners here to assemble your corners. I'm currently out of glue dots, so I am going to just take a little bit of the fast fuse, and I'm going to hope I don't rip my little corners. And you're just going to take, I'm just going to take a little bit and put it on each corner here. And you know what? I put it on the wrong side. Ha ha ha. Silly me. <laughs> Make sure you put it on the correct side. Let's see. I will probably, yep, adhere that to there. It's okay. We're going to keep going. You get the gist. And I ripped this little guy up, just like I did with the last one. This happens when you go to demo. Nobody's perfect. Just gotta laugh at it and keep going. Okay. So now I'm gonna make sure I keep those up. And we're gonna put some fast fuse. That's the good thing about you can see how sticky fast fuse is here. Alright, where's my Let's get the fast fuse going? Alright, let's assemble our box together. You want to put the corners together first. So line them up like so. Oh, I'm not in view here. Just going to line your corners up and assemble them. And go figure this guy's going to be in the front. Alright. And let's see here. We'll fold this down like so 
fold the insides down first. This is just a sample, so it's okay that I messed this up. You could take a little piece of tape or you want to hide that if you want. It doesn't matter. I kind of wish it was on the other side, but we'll keep going. Okay. So you want to take your inside DSP piece. This is the 3 and 1 quarter by 5 and 11 sixteenths. And I'm going to attach her in the middle here like this. Okay. Excuse me. All right, we're now going to take our other piece here. And it does not matter which side because they're both a half an inch wide. You're going to put some fast fuse onto one end here. And let me try to get some that off. All right. We're going to wrap this around like so. Gonna line that up and fast fuse is very sticky as you can see we are going to try to can you see me here I'm getting out a shot here we're going to line this up as best as we can like so there we go you get your fingers in there to smooth it out all right, so there's our sleeve. This will just slide on in, like so. And there's our box, so now we're gonna decorate it. For the outside here, I took, you're just gonna layer your pieces here. I already gave you the measurements. Said so this here is three and a quarter by five and a half, and this one here is three and a half by five and three quarters. We're just going to layer them like so. Okay. And attach that onto the box. Centered it here. All right. Here we go. And then when I decorated it, the stamp sets I'm using here. I'm using Live, Love, Grow. I used the uh, My Sweet Friend, and I used a little terrarium and some assembled uh, plants in it. I also, for the inside, for our pop-ups, I'm using this flower here in the flower shop, and I used the coordinating punch to punch it out. And I'm also using this flower here in Petite Petals, and I used the coordinating punch to punch that out. And I've already done all that here to save some time. So with our level of grow, I'm going to take some dimensionals. I'm going to put one up top. And I'm going to cut this guy in half to save dimensionals. Attach here, get our pieces off. We're gonna attach him, and I'm just gonna take the My Sweet Friend and for our dimensionals to fit, we're gonna cut that one in half. Put one on each end. decorate this some more. I might put another flower on here. I might not. We're going to leave that at like it. Okay. Now to do your little flaps here, you're going to take your little one inch strips. And again, they were folded at one half. So you're going to fold them like so. And I took the, let's, let's see, it's in here. 
the gold glitz dazzling details to do the centers of these just for some extra bling. Alright, you're going to take your adhesive, you're going to put it on one side of your flap. The side that's flapping up, like so. So you have your mountain fold. And when you go, if you want to make sure, if you want to put a gift card in this, you want to make sure you can measure enough room for your gift card. And I'm going to put it a little extra down. So there you go. You just put it down like so. And then you put your second one wherever you please. And like I said, you can do three if you want to. I'm going to put it halfway. Like so. I think if I were to do three, I'd probably do like one close to the beginning. Alright, so there's our pop-up flaps. Now we're just going to decorate. I'm going to put a little fast fuse on the one end here of the flower and have her stick up like so. Make sure she has room to come down. And I'm going to do that with this one too. Let's see here. Got my fast fuse rolled over. I'm going to put her here. And let's put one in the middle. We'll do the two whites. Um, we'll put her right around the middle. Fast Fuse works a little better for these guys because they stick a little better. We'll overlap her like this. So as you can see, there's one pop-up. I did the other one, which is regular snail, and they ended up falling apart. So that's why I said we'll use Fast Fuse this time to decorate. There's a little bit of Fast Fuse on here. Put her here. Whoops. <laughs> I just peeled off my fast fuse. Let's see here. Where's my end? There it is. And let's put her over here. And one more. There we go. A little bit of fast fuse. I'm gonna I'm gonna kind of interlock her. Like, well, we'll do that. There we go. There's your pop-up. So to put this in here, you just hold that down and just slide that in there. Like so. And there you go. Finished. You could put like a cute, for this design that I did, you could probably put like a gardening gift card in there or something. There you go. You just pull this tab open and your pops pop up and there's your gift card. Isn't that pretty? There you go. I'll show you my other example here. Okay. If you like what you see, please like my video and subscribe to my channels. I love doing tutorials and sharing my craft with everybody. If you have any questions, you can check my Facebook page out. It's on Facebook. It's called Tiffany Manger Stampin' Up! Demonstrator. Or if you would like to order anything or find out any more information on Stampin' Up!, you can check out my website. It's www.tiffanymanger.stampinup.net. It's a mouthful, I know. And I thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed my video. I hope you come back again and have a nice day.